How you doing everyone? Scott here and I'm back with yet another collection update. Finally got out digging again. I don't think I've been out digging for at least six weeks. So decided yesterday morning I'm just going to go out, have a walk around and uh, picked up a few good things. So it's going to consist of cassettes, CDs and vinyl. Uh, cassettes are more a novelty for me. I just um, I pick them up now and again if they're albums that I like. And I do have a cassette deck, but I don't play them that often. But um, I saw these and I, I couldn't leave them in the in the shop. I mean, it's not quite a Dan Powers cassette haul, but um, I mean they're kind of rare. Amazing, by the way. Um, I'll actually leave a, a link to that video in the description. He just picked up three hundred CD, uh, three hundred cassettes for absolutely nothing and there's some absolute gems in that um, collection so well done to you Dan for that. So I'm going to just show you my five um, and I'm going to start with House of Lords and 1990, 1990s Sahara. Now I don't own this on vinyl or CD so saw this and I thought that'll do me for now and uh, I can imagine them being pretty few and far between, so that is that one. Next one is Great White's 1991's Hooked, which is in amazing condition. Next up is Extremes Porno Graffiti, which is in not too great condition. Um, but, I mean, these don't. Didn't cost me a lot anyway. A couple of quid. You might be thinking, a couple of quid? No, but it's a record store, so you can't blame them. Next one up is Vinnie Vincent Invasion and All Systems Go from 1988. And the last one is 1990s 10 from YT. So, saw them and I thought, I'm not leaving them in there. They're right up my street, so picked them up. So, I mean, I was only 295 off Dan's Hall, but um, they'll do me for now anyway. Uh, onto the CDs. A wee cheapy first, and it was Extreme's debut, self-titled, from 1989. Great album. Uh, next up is Anthrax. Among the Living, again, really, really cheap, and I've said this before, Anthrax, I'm late to the party with. I've heard this album loads of times, but I've just never, ever picked it up. So, I am uh, writing my wrongs. Now, this one. This was an absolutely amazing find. Um, I've spoken about this album a few times because it's been the hardest one to find from this artist. And it is the CD that I needed to complete this artist's studio albums. And he's got a few. And it's Angry Machines from Dio. Now, as you can see, I picked this up for a fiver. And, I mean, if you find this on eBay or Amazon, it goes for a hell of a lot more than that. So I saw this in the CD rack in the shop and I thought, holy shit. It was one of those... Um, we excited feeling um, when I saw this, so really happy to pick this up, and that is me now completed Dio's studio albums on CD. So really, really happy to pick that up, and especially for that price. Now the next five are a band I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, and it's a band I'm really late to the party with, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm really on a big thrash kick right now with Testament and um, Anthrax and also this band, Slayer. So I picked up Rain and Blood, Seasons in the Abyss, South of Heaven, God Hates Us All and Show No Mercy. So that should keep me going for Slayer. Um, I've just kind of, do you know when one of those bands just suddenly click with you? I mean, I've listened to Slayer before, but I've always kind of thought, yeah, it's alright, but, um, 
but it's really, really good. I've been really enjoying the Slayer, so I picked all of them up. I picked them up on um, on eBay, actually, and they were dirt cheap, so really happy to pick those ones up. So that's the CDs. Now onto the vinyl. Um, first off, we have Tesla's third studio album, and it's Psychotic Supper. Now, I'm not really familiar with this album. Uh, I know, obviously, Mechanical Resonance and the Great Radio Controversy, or Controversy, but this album I'm not too familiar with. And I, I saw it, I looked at the date, and it was from 1991, and I thought, this can't be that easy to, cut, to, to come across. So I jumped on this one. Um, inside it just comes... I've got credits on this side and a photo of the band on this side so I was really happy to pick this up and I think Brett Vinyl Victim just showed this album in his latest um, video and I actually thought I don't really know that album and what do you know go to my, my local store and it's there so that is that one uh, next up is the debut from Mr Big from 1989, I think, 1989, and again, really like Mr. Big, apart from that song, I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say its name, apart from that song, Mr. Big are great um, band members there, and you just get lyrics on each side, so that was a great find as well. And that was my first Mr. Big album on vinyl. So I do have Lean Into It on CD. Now, this next one is awesome. I've been looking for this album on vinyl for a while, but because of the artist and because of the album, people always want not a lot for it, but I'm always after a good deal. And I found this. This was the only vinyl album of this artist in the whole shop and they have got a shitload of records in that shop and it's Ozzy Osbourne Bark at the Moon and this is an amazing album um, I know some some people prefer Diary of a Madman to this but I prefer this this is a great album especially uh, Rock and Roll Rebel Bark at the Moon is an, is an awesome song You're No Different really great slowed down kind of ballady kind of song on it now You See It, Now You Don't is an amazing song. Um, Waiting For Darkness, just great, great stuff. So happy to pick this up because I've got a lot of Aussie on CD, but my vinyl collection is pretty poor. So, yeah, very happy to pick this up. Not a very exciting um, inner. The CBS, nice price again, but yeah, awesome. And I was speaking to the guy who owns the store and um, the store along the road which also sells vinyl has just shut down so he says these kind of albums are just flying out the door just now so I was happy to grab that before somebody else did uh, the next two are from Black Sabbath which again my collection is really low on Black Sabbath um, basically due to what people want for them I mean they're not, they're not rare, but it's Black Sabbath, so people just think, let's hike the prices up. But I've said before, this store is really reasonable. I was talking to the guy for a while, actually, yesterday, um, saying, I come back because your prices aren't stupid. So um, I picked up their seventh album, Technical Ecstasy, from 1976, I'm sure. Um the back there and it comes on a blank dirty standard sleeve so I have to change that up um, it's not in the greatest condition but it does come with the lyric sheet inside as well um, but like I said I mean you could buy this on eBay in this condition and it'd be like £20 but um, I got it for a pretty good price 
and I was talking to him about more Black Sabbath to see if he had any more because, um, as he was saying, these kind of albums are flying out the door just now, so he's going to give me a wee heads up when they, when more comes in. So that's Black Sabbath and Technical Ecstasy. And the next Black Sabbath is their eighth album, Never Say Die. And I was really happy to find this. I mean, this is one of the albums that you just, when you're in a shop, it's not the same as finding it on eBay. Um, just a random find of albums like this or um, what it's all about. So, um, just amazing. Last outing with Ozzy before Dio stepped in. Original winner. So yeah, I really need to get my ass in gear with uh, some more Black Sabbath. And uh, I mean, you've got all the remasters and reissues and stuff out there, but it's not the same as having the original and finding the original. So that is that. And the last one I picked up, and believe me, I had to put stuff back, is from Accept. And this is 1984's uh, Metal Masters. So there's two versions of this. You've got the 1984 version and you've got the 1985 version. Um, the 1985 version contains their debut album and the album Breaker, I think, which is their second, third album. Um, but this one, I already own the debut and this 1984 version um, has the albums I'm a Rebel and Breaker, which is their second and third studio albums. So I was all over this as well. Um, you can see in the back, you've got the track listing and the dual guitars. And so you've got double disc, and they're, as you can see now, one just nearly fell out and slapped me in the face. Um, they come on this kind of translucent bright yellow vinyl so and they come on razor so really happy to pick that up and I actually had to leave an accept album there I think it was Russian Roulette um, which I really enjoy as well so hopefully that is still there when I journey back hopefully in the not so distant future so that is accept and Metal Masters from 1984 so that is it. That is my haul, my record store haul of the weekend. Um, like I say, always say, let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think of my pickups, tapes, uh, CDs, vinyl, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.